Good morning. It's half past six. We have had an hour off what counts for rain round here, which is basically nothing. I put my rain gear on, but I think I might just regret that because <laughs> it's just slightly damp air. About two and a half miles from the water source, so Brian's filling up his bottle. And then we will fill up everything when we get there, hopefully. I had a single flower standing in my porch yesterday and we managed to pitch the tent around it. And it is still there. We struck the tent around it, we got in and out of the tent around it. The flower survived. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? So does Heidi. Made it to the water faucet. Untreated surface water. Do not drink it without appropriate treatment. And one more thing. Don't leave your rubbish there. Yeah, again, I mean... They're giving us free water and health. And... You're stumping your rubbish. You're only being out of town for one day. This is, I, I doubt very much that this has been provided by the Department of Water and Power. So just why? Sooner or later they're just going to switch this shit off. Excuse my language, but you know. Have some consideration for the generation of hikers coming after you. We've already lost several services along the PCT because people have behaved like dicks. Finally leaving the aqueduct for good. This is what happens when people are longer too long. Rain's caught up with us as well. It should only last until about 11, it's now half past 8, so... Southern California. Yeah, right. Well, that was 20 minutes of very unpleasant cold rain. But it looks like the clouds are already lifting again over the hills that we're heading for. So we might get lucky. And that might have been the worst of it. Not looking too clever down there. I hope that's not where we're going. It's definitely wet. No hot. Just walking through the windmills. Beautiful sky as well. Follow the yellow brick road. We seem to be dried out with the wind. We were heading up into the mist. That mist. Definitely wet. Aaron Pants shake. This is a sexy look. It's a look. It's a flower for the wife. <laughs> it's for your birthday whenever it is. Yeah, not for a while. Don't throw it away. Go it's away! Oh, keep on giving her flowers, isn't she? <laughs> I'm trying to tell our eager viewers that we've just had second coffee in this relatively dry and wind still spot, even though I had to shovel around to make sure that the stove didn't get blown out. It's cleared up a little bit for the time being so we're trying it again. Uh, walk that is. What do you reckon babes? Do you know what pasty was on about? The wind? Yeah, the wind. What wind? The wind is absolutely fierce today and we were starting to panic a bit because we thought it was going to send us up this hill there with no shelter of any kind but we're now dropping down to this canyon hoping there's a little bit of a shelter to be had and there's actually, I don't know, you can see there's a bright green tent, somebody's camping out down there There we made it to the bottom of the canyon for lunch and we're trying to get a coffee going, but it is still rather windy. There's the PC team taking us up. Finished our lunch and climbing the canyon now. 
wind is still with us. A bit like the force in Star Wars. <laughs> but the weather has significantly improved. I mean, it is now just windy. The rain's gone. The rain's gone. The temperature's picked up a little bit. So we're in good spirits. Seeing how much further we can get. There's a um, in about three and a half miles the campsite starts, and then there's like camping opportunities every couple of miles. So we're just gonna hike and see how far we get. This is our setup for the night. Um, it's cold. I'm not in it. <laughs> it's yeah. The, the wind. The wind got a bit too much. Um, we call it quits after 14 and a half miles. There was another campsite two miles further on, but even higher up. We've been climbing, 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 and the wind got worse and worse and worse. So we didn't want to chance it. So uh, we wrapped up, put everything inside because it's right now that I'm filming it is of course nice and calm, but the wind is quite fierce at times. And it's very cold. And the person that doesn't want to be in it should shut up. Or be in it. I am so. <laughs> it should be warm, not cold. This is Southern California! <laughs> we set up nice and early from our little dirt spot. In the rain. Somebody doesn't like that. You'd think he wasn't from the UK, would you? Uh, we crossed the um, the pylons and entered the sort of the wind farm area. And it's windy, really windy. And reached the water faucet, and then basically followed the wind farms on what must be a painfully straight bit for the PCT. I mean, it's just you can tell this is not part of the actual PCT, but somebody else's road. This is just the wind farm road. And we followed that all the way up until it finally leaves the wind farm behind and becomes a normal trail again. Which is also the beginning of, well, most of this was already very gentle climbing, but this is where the proper climb started. Um, to the Taylor Horse Canyon creek where we stopped for lunch, topped up with water, um, not that we needed much but it's I think it's the last reliable water before Tehachapi so we just thought we'd better. And um, then we carried on climbing and just took it as far as we we could really, I mean it, it's, yeah, we are sort of here now at 46.6. Uh, sorry, five, four, six point six, uh, for for no other reason than that the other campsites, as I said earlier, would would have been even further up the hill, and the wind is relentless. It keeps coming in gusts and stuff. And actually, I mean, our our the porch of our tent has collapsed twice already. Um, so it's it's going to be a, a rough night. But I think it would get even worse further up. And then there doesn't seem to be any other established campsites until Tehachapi. And obviously, we don't know what the climb down to Tehachapi looks like.